Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I'm here with my February Owlcrate box. So it is March 5th as I film this. So they're a little tiny bit behind but they have said that the March box should be able to ship like mid-month so that's exciting. Um, and they're really good about keeping people updated on what's going on with shipping and stuff, so no complaints, I guess, other than just having to be more patient. <laughs> Alright, so here is the box, and we're going to open her on up. Oh, I don't want it to anything to fall out here. What do we see? Okay, this looks interesting. Um, among the monsters is the theme for this month's box. And we've got this uh, girl in a fancy dress and a guy with horns on his head. Um, and hairy legs. Hmm. Alright, we'll set that to the side and see what we've got. First thing, we have a whole lot of crinklies to get rid of. So I'll take a moment to try to get these cleaned out of the box and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think we've got everything out, so I'll lift up the box again and give you a sneak peek. What do we see in here? So we'll start with this little envelope. It says literary luggage. Oh, yes, this is their new enamel pin collection they're doing. Um, each month we'll have a luggage inspired by a book. Um... Explore Caves Water. Okay, so this is inspired by the Raven Boys. And they are designed by Hey Atlas Creative. I like that with the silver accents. I'm glad they chose silver and not gold. I think it would have not been as pretty with gold on there, but I do really like the silver outlining the pictures and the suitcase itself. Very nice. All right, what is this? Cable Keepers. Officially licensed Lakes Edge Cable Keepers artwork by author Lyndall Clipstone. I recently read um, Lakes Edge by Lyndall Clipstone. So you can keep your cables and charger cords organized while traveling. And so these are leather. Let's. I'm going to undo each one so we can take a closer look at them. So this one we've got some keys and moons. I like that they're different sizes too because you do have different cords that you've got to keep while you go. His magic is my magic. If you haven't read Lake's Edge and you like like super atmospheric, gothy, like strange magic things, check out that book. It's it's definitely got the vibes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to focus in on the letters correctly for you. But we've got the key in the moon, and this says there's a monster in the shadows, and now it knows my name. And our fourth and final one just has some roses and a moon on it. These are definitely going to be something that's useful to me because I do um, travel quite a bit. And not, like, fancy vacation kind of things. Like, don't think I'm some travel the world person. Um, the reason I travel quite a bit is because I live far away from the rest of my family. And so I usually try to go visit them at least once a month if I can, if not once every couple of months. And my nieces and nephews always expect me to bring candy with me when I come and presents of some kind. But I, I do have to carry quite a few um, cords with me because I have cords for my iPad, my phone, and my laptop. And... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't always take my laptop, but oftentimes I've got multiple electronic devices, so these will be very handy when I travel. Okay, we've got another um, envelope. It just says Owlcrate on it. No clues as to what might be inside. I don't want to look at the spoiler card, because that would spoil it. What is it going to be? Ooh! It's a keychain. Ooh! This is pretty. It says, We are the darkest axe main light. 
The only problem I have with these these keychains, um, <clears throat> sorry, I've been my voice has been in and out recently. Um, the only problem I have with these is that they're so pretty that I'm afraid to actually put them on my keys. And I also don't want to put them on my backpack just in case they come off somehow or get lost. Like, So I don't know quite what to do with these. If you've got a good idea for like how I could display, because I've got several of them now. Give me a, an idea down in the comments, because I'm not sure how to like display these well. Okay, so this next item you probably caught a peek at when I held up the box. This is a copy of Frankenstein by Melly Mary. <laughs> This is a copy of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have read this book several times, and it's so, so good. I And it blows me away. Like, if you haven't heard the story of how Mary Shelley wrote this book, she and her husband, um, Percy Shelley, were at a friend's home, and they were, like, challenged to come up with the best story. I think it was, like, specifically supposed to be a scary story, and she, like, sat up all night writing, and that was the genesis of, of Frankenstein. And, like, how did her brain come up with this? And I remember when I first started my lit classes in college, we read Frankenstein and then approached the book from every new type of literary theory that the professor taught us. And it is so beautifully written and so well done that you can and that you can apply literary theory from multiple different types um and points of view and I just remember like every time I've read this just being blown away by Mary Shelley's writing and yeah I get mad too every time because I'm mad at the monster I'm mad at Frankenstein I'm mad but it's okay for books to make you mad sometimes speaking of which I just finished reading The Summer I Turned Pretty it's the first time I've ever read that book and I'm so mad like, if I read the sequel, that some changes need to be made in regards to love interests. If you've read that book and you know what I'm talking about, yeah, let me know. Because I, I hope I'm not the only person that was angry about that. Okay, side rant over. Looks like we've got an art print. Is this inspired by the book that we're going to see? I don't want to, like, look at the spoiler card. So we're just going to wonder for a minute about this. Is he wearing a costume or is he like part blue creature? All right, so we've got another card here and this wafy looking girl, she looks very light and fairy like here. On the back, it says um, some promises can never be broken. Start reading an Alcrate exclusive digital sampler, Forest Fall, The Haunting Sequel to Lake's Edge by Lyndall Clepstone, now on NetGalley. So, um, if you're not aware of NetGalley, I would recommend it because you can get arcs of books for free. Now, you do have to be accepted as a reader. I have an educator account. Um, they do accept people who aren't teachers. They accept reviewers, etc., um, but they don't accept everybody who applies. So you can go there and create a free NetGalley account. Um, now I will say that I've been a member of NetGalley for years and years, so it could be that they have changed it and are, um, allowing more people in. But once you have an account in NetGalley, you also have to be approved by the publisher to read the ARC. It's not like you can just gr start grabbing ARCs. Um, for example, I requested an arc of the new Lady Janie's book. It's another um, Mary title. And so the publisher has to say, yes, you can read it. No, you can't read it. And in exchange, they expect you to review it. Now, that's kind of just how it works. It is, again, called Net Galley. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely go and sign up. Okay, we've got, before we get to the book, we've got bookends. Now, if you watched my Fairy Loot unboxing that came out a few days ago, we got bookends in that one too. I'm cleaning up in the bookends game recently, you guys. This is awesome. Look at this. That love of maidens for monsters that does not fade with time. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is all in black and white except for the flowers. The stems are green and the, the petals are red. Let's see if the other bookend has the same quote or if it's something different. 
that is the same. Oh, we do have a little red bird at the top too. I didn't notice that at first. These are really nice and they're good solid base and they have little casters on the bottom so they won't scratch whatever shelf you're sitting on. I think these are going to be really useful. I did mention in my last video I use bookends at school mostly, but I do have a couple places here at home that I could use some bookends on, so um, we'll have to decide which ones are going to go where. I think we're ready to see the book. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. What's it going to be? Only a monster. Oh, I saw this somewhere. Where did I see this? Maybe it was just like on my Amazon recommendations or something. Only a Monster, Vanessa Lynn is the author. And every story is a hero and a monster. She is not the hero. Ooh. All right, let's get this out of the plastic. We'll take a look at the reader letter and so on and see more about this beautiful book. Okay, so the book is out of the plastic now. And we can see it's got black sprayed edges. Um, let's take a peek inside and see if we can see any other fun things. Um, this spine is quite stiff. I'm trying to get it to open well without cracking it. Here is an author's signature page. Nothing really on the end papers, but I do see a hint of some artwork inside the dust jacket. So, oh, oh, hang on. Hold the phone. We've got silver foiling here and here. All right, here is some lovely artwork. We don't know yet who these peeps are, but we shall learn. All right, let's do some reading. We'll start with the author letter, and this person has a very large printed clear handwriting. Thank you very much. Um, so let's see what this has to say. Dear Elkrate Reader, Only a Monster is about a monster girl whose summer is ruined when the cute guy at work turns out to be a monster slayer. This book was written with so much love and heart. When I was growing up, I always wished that I could read about characters who looked like me, having amazing adventures in magical worlds, and then one day I realized that I could write that book. And now it's such a dream come true to share it with you in this beautiful Alcred edition. I hope you have as much fun reading it as I had writing it. With love and wishes, Vanessa. I, I, I'm noticing that more and more we're getting like these author letters that say I wanted characters that were like me, and I had to write the book, or I... I found that I could write the book and I think that's so amazing and empowering for people to realize I can create the story that I always wanted to see myself in. I'm kind of working on one of those myself for my thesis. Will it ever be published? We don't know right now but we shall see. My grandma's getting really impatient. She's 90 years old and she's like but when is it gonna be a book? <laughs> okay back to this one though. All right, so inside the dust jacket, it tells us it should have been the perfect summer. Sent to stay with her late mother's eccentric family in London, 16-year-old Joan is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her nerdy job at the historic Holland House, and when her super cute co-worker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything is falling into place. Then a good Samaritan attempt gone wrong sends Joan spinning through time, and her life quickly begins to unravel. Her family isn't just eccentric, they're monsters with terrifying hidden powers. And Nick isn't just a cute boy, he's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. As she battles Nick, Joan is forced to work with the beautiful and ruthless Aaron Oliver, heir to a monster family that hates her own. She'll have to embrace her monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family, because in this story, she is not the hero. Cool. I'm also taking a look at the um, author information, and it tells us that Vanessa Lin is an Australian author of Chinese, Malaysian, and Mal Maltese heritage. Um, she's an educational editor who um, has worked in everything from language learning programs to STEM resources to professional learning for teachers. Yay, we have a teacher author. Oh, yes. How cool. All right, we'll put this lovely dust jacket back on the book and see what else is in the bottom of the box. All right, so we have our Alcrate newsletter, and as you know, I only show a couple of pieces in here. We're going to compare covers. So this is the original cover of the book, and this is the one we got. It has um, more of a like a greenish tealish tint to the girl's face and silver letters rather than like the gold color here. I kind of like the Alcrate one better. I don't know. They both are pretty. And we're going to take a look at the theme for next month. It is going to be artistic obsession. Hmm. I like that. 
Every March box will include an item from Fiction Bath Company. Yay. Oh, it says it's an item we've never included before. Hmm. I think they've done bath salts before. I'm like 99% sure they've done bath bombs. Because what book box hasn't done bath bombs? I'm not sure what kind of products Fiction Bath Co. does that they haven't included in an owl crate before. We shall see soon. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to investigate on the spoiler card, which is this art print. Let's see if we can find out some information. Oh, this says Hell's Moving Castle inspired. That makes so much sense. I only recently have come into the fandom of Hell's Moving Castle, and I will say I like the movie more than the book. I very rarely say that, but in that case, it's true. Okay, I get it now. Alrighty, so what was your favorite item in this box? I, 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 I want to say maybe the cord keepers because they're so practical and I haven't gotten something like that in a box before. But those bookends are also really gorgeous. The addition of Frankenstein's beautiful. Wow, we just have a lot of fun items in this box. And I'm excited for that next month's theme, art, the artist's obsession, because I do like to explore different art techniques and things and... Yeah, anyway, I, I hope it'll be a fun one. So I'm going to go wrap this up and have a cough drop or something because my throat's done. So you guys have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.